Journalist Nick Berg would disagree. He's one of the lucky few to own an Ibo. They're sold in limited numbers, like Ferraris. Gromit is the ultimate executive toy. I don't have to clean up after him. He doesn't chew my furniture. I don't have to take him for walks. So I think if you added him up over his lifetime, he's actually probably cheaper than a real dog. Now you've given a, a big list of negatives. You don't have to clean up after him. You don't have to take him for walks. But doesn't that extend to he doesn't lick your face when you come in? He doesn't wag his tail. He isn't pleased to see you. Oh, he does wag his tail and he is pleased to see me. He follows me around the house to different parts where he's always there barking away or doing little dances. So he is a lot of fun. But, yeah, he won't fetch my slippers or the newspaper, and he won't make a very good guard dog. So what is he actually doing now? He's kind of looking around the place a bit, isn't he? Yeah, he's just woken up, and he's in unfamiliar surroundings. He knows his way around my flat because he's got a, a video camera in his nose so he can see what's going on, and he stores all the information on a computer chip, which you put up his bottom. He does occasionally cock his leg as well. He does not. <laughs> he does.